Hmm. Isn't it just? <laughs> yeah. I got that in some seaside town in India and um the the man who well I think it's done by a team of people they they you know it's a coloring and exercise by you know a community tourist sort of souvenir art but it is handmade and um, I, I, I do love the gawkiness of it, it's awesome. The man I brought it from was just, you know, a really nice person. And I can't remember what I paid. It might have been like 20 bucks New Zealand or something. Um, you know, it was affordable. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so he's going to do some of those videos again, um, even though he keeps threatening not to. I'm going to show you some work. I'm going to show you some work of Damien's. Fashionable minimalism, you say? Ritual scarification. Nazca lines in the desert of Peru. Chemtrail trace marks across the sky over a month. Over California. No! No! What you are actually looking at is a cutting board from a tradie. Um, yeah, I've always been intrigued by Damien's process art in terms of cutting tiles. So I believe he cuts things, and this is the the wood underneath that the saw penetrates through to. And of course, you know, I love the incidental naturalness and uncontrived um, artifact of this. Yes. Um, and I, I intend to use it as a printing block um, to put ink or paint on and then press on paper or canvas and see what happens. Mm. Um, so, yeah, there you go. There's an ethic there about um, trying to locate art that is the natural thought of nature without... Um, uh, without yeah without dictating the terms creating a um, sort of uh, yeah that I mean that's the quest day eh, is the sort of um, um, unconscious um, fluid uh, channeling of um, you know we're, we're striving for reality and truth I think is is things that um, that painters are concerned with, and um, sometimes reality and truth is a idiosyncratic, chattery one. Um, so yeah, this one hovers between that natural mark making, and um, this is a process note. Um, you could frame it, I suppose. Um, one half's paper, one half's canvas. Um, I, I liked the chap there with, you know, that was an accidental character. And then uh, I, 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 um, I got a bit poetic over here, you know, stars in your aura, pricks in the void, head of holes. And then these are notes from a podcast, or no, I think it was a, I think it wasn't a podcast, it was a, it was a, a substack lecture or an essay I read about different different um, different ways of knowing. So those are um, Greek, um, yeah, 
so yeah, uh, you know, it's a, a it's a note about meaning, and um, it's a sort of old brain notion. Yeah, so I mean, you know, that's an old brain, and um, well, so is that really, in, in a sort of graphic kind of graphic kind of symbolism with graffiti, uh, poetics in it. Yeah, I like that. It's not trying too hard. Um. Mm -hmm. It's a paper, paper thing. Oh. Yes, I, I just got a text from my friend Adam who said he's been depressed. I've been ringing him and he hasn't been answering. And um, yeah, it does seem like uh, everyone's dealing with their version of mental illness at the moment. I blame the magnetics in the atmosphere. Um, I mean, I'm no exception, of course. You know, obviously, if you're watching this, you've watched my sadnesses recently. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, art's always been about that and, and beyond that. And I think art's a wonderful... Um, well, it's a reconciliation of, of, the, of a survivor shadow. Um, oh yes, these threads are hypothetical lines and marks, um, lines, they're lines, they're like drawing, you know how you scribble with a pen and so am I making an antennas there or am I making arms on the stick figure or are they thoughts or you know, what, what are they and you know, like I can glue them down if I want or dip them in glue and throw them, um, I don't know. But yeah, this is a weird one. I, I was always taken by by that, that bit there. And, uh, you know, going back to that conversation about art and nature. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this has made it. This is this is this is a series of um, decisions that I've I've done um, over quite a long period, actually. And um, you know, I've stuffed up something that it was before, and then it turned into something else, and then there was crayon on it, and then I, and then I scraped off the crayon, and then I burnt the the top of it. I melted the crayon with a blowtorch, and then I stuck a piece of canvas on it, which I'd burnt the edges of, and it became sort of a figurative kind of profile. Or, and then that's the that's the the scabby skin inside some you know paint puddle and it's a shiny aura or in that sort of bloody shells or ribs so it's sort of got a you know and and, and yeah so it's got, I'm, I'm liking this sort of you know it's um yeah all right okay and um this is a sort of bipolar alien head one um uh, and I, I think it's called Bad Hair Day. It's, it's possibly called a lot of fucking things, actually, because there's a lot of prattle on it. Oh, it could adversely be called um, Shit in Your Head, or, you know, uh, yeah, Shit in Your Head. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, I had a visit by a, what's he called, what's his official title called again? Uh, well, he's a male sexual uh, survivor uh, um, support worker, I believe his name is. He's not a therapist or a counsellor even, he's just a dude who talks to other dudes who, um, you know, are survivors um, of... I, th I think officially, in terms of the funding, it's sexual abuse, uh, surviving of that. But, um, of course, you know, my mother sexually abused me more than my sexual abuser did. Um, I call that feminism's privilege. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so there goes my uh, cancelled male uh, plundered rhetoric again. But um, you know, emotional violence doesn't happen. It's it's only men who are bad, isn't isn't it? 
Um, mm, um, yeah, Simon's great. He hears my bundle of waffle and um, and he says I'm not qualified. And I go, thanks, that's fine. Neither am I. We laugh. <laughs> uh, it's just nice to be heard sometimes. He gave me a tree peony. I'm like, yep, that'll sort it out. <laughs> Plant that sucker. Tree peony. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, you know. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, so this one's called Survivor. Um, formerly it was called Hike. Hiking your prices, you say, James? <laughs> yeah, right. That should be worth fucking 25 grand. It's a fucking good picture, that one. Fucking museums, take note. Um, I haven't shown it. Yeah, it's rough as guts. Uh, it's solid though, it's real fucking solid. I mean, it's it's crusty scab all the way through. Um, black velvet holes, and actually holes, not just black velvet that looks like a hole. It actually is a recess in this case. I sort of built this little shelf behind it. Um, yeah, it's like going back to that conversation about um, Wu Wei which is the Chinese name for, you know, nature marks, you know, nature naturing art, um, or, you know, um, humans calling nature art, I should say. <coughs> well, humans as art. Mm. Um, yeah, so, yeah, there was a natural Wu Wei to this in, in my construction deconstruction process to avoid um, conscious ego. Um, but then again, there's a lot of decisions and sort of compositions that I, um, you know, sort of made and unmade and avoided. Uh, not knowing what you're doing can be a blessing. Um, even to the point sometimes of restretching canvases and, and using the edge to create another aspect of the canvas. I actually really like doing that. Um, I like the I like the cornering and what happens to material around the cornering. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the bit that is around the corner is not intended. So I pretty much like anything I do that isn't actually intended. I mean, is is that because I don't like myself, or is it because I actually like what materials do? more than you know what i can possibly do so yeah i'm trying to evoke bigger forces i suppose uh, well i don't have to evoke them i mean they're constant and present aren't they so yeah i i i, I think this is a good work um and you know like it's got a lot of static but so i see a figure moving through with a big black head there i see a figure it's sort of or a couple of figures even, and there's sort of a horizon in the background, and there's sort of portals, and yeah, it's a prehistoric kind of scape. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I like cave art, you know, I, I think the, you know, the rocks and, and the shadows and the environment, so, you know, this is a, this is a sort of, um, you know, uh, ambiguous, subjective kind of, um, white white toned sort of classic um, I I mean in that vein I really like Toss Wollaston I actually really like quite a lot of Toss Wollaston's big muddy fucking brutal um, elegant landscapes you know I think he's a really good mix of masculine and feminine in, um, in, um, in, in, in landscape painting um, masculine for the for the drunken sort of passion and, and muddy sort of tones and, um, and feminine for the lightness and ephemerality and you know that's just my reading you know it's not gendered it's not gendered but you know you, there is there is an alchemy to, to art which is a sort of masculine feminine um, well, yeah, and he, all people men and women you know 
But yeah, I think Toss Toss was a bit of a gem. Um, didn't know him. Um, bit of a rock star around Nelson, of course. Uh, there was some of his watercolours up in a gallery in Wellington I saw last time I was up there. Um, they're all a little bit tight and contrite and polite, actually. There's a few good ones. But yeah, all a little bit art shop, you know. But yeah, his stuff in Te Papa fucking rocks, you know. I'm, I'm glad it's there. My stuff should be in Te Papa. Lots of people have said that. This one's called the COVID Op. Um, Rip Mum, R.I.P., you know, rest in peace, Mum. And, um, yeah, no, she's, um, <laughs> she's the full Monty, hey, eh? you know, beast. Gawky like a Muppet show, um, or a, or a, or a punk gig, you know, the early toy love album release with Chris Knox cutting his wrists and shit um, yeah I'm talking about another era in New Zealand before sort of woke consensus um, nanny state um, took over the arts environment you know um, and put a Maori name on it and made everyone transgender <coughs> mm, yeah uh, so yeah meme of rebel um, you know meme of rebel um but yeah this is sort of big kid big kid protest um sort of carnival ridiculous and and tribal and um and um i i think we know uh, so this is this 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 is um a compromise of bits that i have um reconciled to being together um yeah, um, yeah, she's solid, you know, it's fucking solid as, yeah, um, <sighs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, I mean, you know, will we have a record of the times, or, you know, are we um, just getting AI um, to rewrite our unconscious and history? Um, and AI, including the human servants of that agenda. Yeah, I mean, you know, art is a little bit like parenting um, in that, you know, it's done um, because it's needed to be done, because we, 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 we actually, you know, love our children, because, you know, we love ourselves and, and we, we want the best. Um, and... Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, she's good, she's good, she's good. Uh, I mean, that, that for me, it's, it's funny, uh, it's a clutter, it's a clutter, no doubt, it's a clutter, it's a clutter, I'm going to say it again, it's a clutter, but what makes it hang together is this one, like, it could be a figure or an exclamation mark upside down, um, just that one little blank, blank, you know, slight, slight little narrative spot that just gives it, gives it a bit of, yeah. But yeah, I mean, what makes it work is it feels to me, it feels to me, ghouls feels to me like a sort of compression of spirits in a landscape, like a sort of strata or organ rocks, you know, veering up. Um, it feels like um, a lineup of crims. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's that. Maybe it's a lineup of crims. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Mm -hmm. I like showing you my art. I hope it's okay to do so. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, I, 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 I get depressed. That happens. I, I also um, talk about things fairly openly, and um, you don't have to like that. Um, but I reckon, you know, I, I need to talk about my work because um, I think I think it's good. Thank you. Bye.